Did you just break those forks? No, it landed on the damn thing right there. It landed on the ground? No, it landed on the... It landed on the ground. I know it landed on the ground. Dude, you're a damn mess. Here. How about an opener? It fell right there. Yeah, I love how you're trying to... Ex what the hell are you trying to say? What what exactly are you trying to excuse that with? I was just saying it didn't it didn't break. I should have had my hand on it. Do but you I didn't. do you really think you need to go there? Do you want to start going there? I understand it was an accident. If I thought you did it on purpose, I'd beat you. Uh -huh. Get off my hand! Oh my love! Wolf Tick Nation, thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. You guys can see I got my lucky bike search shirt on nice because we are going to be doing some bike searching here in uh, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Mississippi. Mississippi, we're down here visiting some family. Uh, you know, it's Thanksgiving, a uh, holiday time, so uh, we thought, you know what, let's get a little bit of work in. Let's go to Dick Sporting Goods. Yeah. And we're fixing to find out, see if they got any deals in here, if they got anything different in Mississippi. Guys, oh, but we better move. Yeah, we better, we better start running. Um, we've had some good luck on road trips throughout Mississippi. We never checked out Hattiesburg, so uh, let's go into Diggs. We'll probably go to Walmart and check all that good stuff, see if we can find a bike a today. Yeah, we'll give it a chance. Maybe they got some different stuff on the shelves, but all right, guys, without further ado, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's check out some Dicks. Yeah, Dick Sporting Goods, this is a very big Dick Sporting Goods. And all I want to say is it smells like a damn dispensary in this place. Walking in, full-blown dispensary. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, so this is the first that we've seen of these bikes. This is a uh, Schwinn Electric Ridgewood. Interesting, uh, $6.99. Now, I'm sure this is a Black Friday deal. Today's uh, Friday after Thanksgiving. Uh, $5.99, $6.99. Looks like the step through and a little step over action. Uh, rear hub. Disc brakes. Um, wow. 700, huh? Yeah, I mean, coil fork. Uh, looks like we got a throttle. I'm sure there's a pedal assist on this thing. Oh, I'm gonna check out the hub here. Uh, a 250 watt rear hub. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering what the pricing was so cheap. But you know what? It does have a micro shift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's an actual cassette, not a freewheel. Is it? Yeah, so we can change those up. We're looking to do it with Wolfman's bike. Mm -hmm. Huh. Uh, a little one by action. I kind of like the step over or step through. That's pretty. Whoa, look at the tire difference. This one here, I'm guessing that's a 29 by 2.1. And then, dude, look at this guy. Step yeah, and then check out the tires. That is cool. What's up with the handlebars? Uh, you know they have the bike pros here, so this must be something new they're doing. These are called drop handlebars. <laughs> I mean, it's just like yeah, motorcycle stuff. Motorcycle stuff for sure. Cool forks on both of them. Um, 700C Ingersoll e-bike. Huh, interesting. So we got that. Um, yeah, okay. Right, we this to be a, uh, almost a gravel -ish, a gravel -ish. No, don't talk about anything with the gravel bike with that. So we got that. Uh, we got some. We got some GT Aggressor Pros. There's a large over here. Let's see what this large is all about. Two ninety nine. Okay. They went back down. Maybe just because today's Black Friday. No, look at the color. Yeah, that's a beautiful color. Make sure you talk loud because it's on rear right now. So the two ninety nine normally seven ninety nine. Come on, guys. Normally seven ninety nine. That's a large. Hey, we know that one. Yeah, we got that one there. That's a pretty color. Uh, let's see what else you we got. Get the colors down right. Yeah, they do. Uh, Schwinn Fremont. Wow, two ninety nine. I'm loving it. You know that's great. That yeah, two ninety nine is what you want to pay for a GT Aggressor Pro. This whole seven hundred or five forty nine or four seventy nine. No, and then I mean, other than the GTs, I mean they got tons of Nishikis, but other than the GTs, um, you don't really have much. No. I mean, what the heck is this? This is a Nishiki Pueblo 24 inch. Kind of cool looking bike, but again, it's like, if it's not a GT Aggressor Pro at Dick Sporting Goods, you don't really, you don't really get much. I don't know. Sometimes they have other GTs and stuff. I mean, yeah, Wolfman just brought up, you know, sometimes they have other GTs, but dude, it's, that's kind of a cool paint scheme. You know, they, they had the Pantera, but yeah, let's, I don't know. Uh, now it's, oh, look at that little guy. This is the Stomper Pro. Dude, that is cool. Look at that little guy, that is neat, man. 
Um, all right, well, I think that's it. I mean, we got the e-bikes, which is pretty cool, a little change up. But yeah, let's go to the next one. All right, so we're at the mall. I don't know if we're gonna find anything at the mall, but I mean, it's worth a shot, right? Dude, it smells so good in here, holidays, Black Friday. Bunch of, this is my section over here. I love, I, we got like, a, well, I don't know if you guys patrons may have seen our cologne collection. It's amazing. I love that, but let's see what we can find here at the mall. I thought malls were all done. Um, but here in Hattiesburg, they're going strong. This place is packed. All right, we may have found something. Another little e-bike action here. E-bikes are getting so freaking popular. Fat Track E9 is what we got here. It's got a, um, it's got a Bafang hub on this. Aries brakes, um, it, it's fat tire. It kind of, it's kind of neat. It doesn't really have the uh, the look of a fat tire bike, at least the frame, by Phantom Bikes. Interesting. Um, we got pro wheel crank arms on this thing. Look like some 175s. It looks like we're gonna have some ground clearance issues for sure. Definitely with some pedal strikes. Shimano Altus, what comes on the GT Aggressor Pro. Oh, we've got more of a selection back here. This is a free, uh, it's a, uh, no, it's a cassette. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine speed. That's interesting. Okay. Um, King meter. This looks a lot like a Wolfman's display here on his e-bike and especially with the controls right here. Tech trail mechanical brakes with a little bit of rubber action on them. Little bell. Huh, that's not bad. A little one by kind of like it they're asking way too much this thing right here and again it's black friday i think the whole store is 20 percent off but 12.99 i mean let me know in the comments would you guys either buy this or the one over there at that dick sporting goods whatever 20 percent of off is off of a 12.99 but not a bad looking fat tire bike all right guys so that's what we found at the mall let's see if uh, we can find anything else where we're we'll see what's next all right so uh, nothing really at the mall we did have the well, fat tire bike there was that you got that when i was in there distracting the guy with mm -hmm. the uh, electronics that tire bike. but i can't believe you didn't check out the uh, the one in the the little store for 75 dollars oh, there's a little schwinn uh road bike in yeah. there for uh, for 75 bucks it's interesting for 75 yeah, there's a lot of people it really wasn't like the area to yeah, film you know there's no, a lot of people it's kind of wide i think open. we're gonna go to sam's club next we'll go check out sam's club yeah. uh see if they got any bikes there and then I definitely want to check out Walmart. Yeah, that wasn't a bad deal. 75, 75 bucks. 75 yeah, bucks. But all right, guys. Hey, hit that like button. Let's go to the next place. Sam's Club have bikes? Um, we'll, we'll find, find out. out. All right, guys. What we got here is called a double whammy in the Cullum household. We got Sam's Club. And we got Walmart, baby. First time ever on this channel uh, getting to go to the Sam's Club. We actually got a. Uh, Joel, I'm gonna call him Uncle Joel, one of our family members. He is a Sam's Club member. So we're gonna go hit up Sam's Club, see what we got, and then see if we got any famous budget bikes over there at Walmart. I'm telling you, Mississippi is one of those states where you just get really surprised on what they carry. I don't know if that's because of the lack of uh, mountain bike riders in Mississippi. I'm not sure. Um, is it called Double Whammy? Oh, it's a Double Whammy, yeah. I was talking about Walmart and uh, Sam's Club. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna go in there and see. But anyway, it's just so weird with the... Uh, with um mississippi man we've always had good luck in mississippi we have it, <laughs> now you you're, you're claiming some people not riding bikes or people well, it's gotta be bikes. it's gotta be well why would they carry the bikes there then i don't know they send them in there nobody buys them but mm. let's go no one rides bikes in morrillton and they don't they don't stop very good bikes mm -hmm. <laughs> all right well i just spoke to roxanne and she informed me that they do not have bikes at Roxanne. Sam's Club. Roxanne! Uh, don't have bikes here at Sam's Club. So, uh, sometimes they do. They got like some scooters and like a little e-bike, but it's one of those little Jetson type. You guys race all those. Um, not Definitely not Costco, but uh, we're going to go over to Walmart uh, after we get some shopping in here, and then we'll go find out and see what kind of bikes they got over there. Like, Damn, yeah, no like, bikes. Like Costco has a bunch of bikes. They've got one usually, too. Yeah, Costco's got like one bike. <laughs> But Let's that's still there in this place. Here, Roxanne! Yeah. Where I started yelling, she was right there. She was right there. <laughs> I said, you guys have bags? She said, no. <laughs> all right, will this be the end all be all? I don't know. Now we're fixing to hit this Walmart, baby. This will be the biggest damn flop of a bike, uh, whatever's in inventory, if they well, don't have, have something here. We have the the, the GT Aggressor Pro's back at $2.99 again. Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about here at Walmart. I've been talking to them. Oh, Black Friday deals. 
We'll see, I've been talking it up. We're fixing to find out. What kind of damn speed bump is that? I don't know. All right, guys, let's go into Walmart and see what we got. All right, guys, here we go. I will show you the bike section when we get there. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh okay. Oh, what we got up top? We got the Schwinn Axum DP. Uh, okay, that's not the DP, but it's a new Schwinn Axum that we're talking about with the, the with the black and gold. In okay, Ozark Trail. Okay, that one right there, this one looks a lot lighter in color than that one. There's the Axum. Dude, did we call it or what with this place? Is that a small? Let's see the size. Uh, that's a large. It just looks super light in color. Now this right here is the find so far. Guys, look at this. Do we just... Yeah, make sure you talk loud, Dad. I got it on the back. Um, definitely uh, in the wild, like Wolfman saying, cool fork up front. Uh, have we ever really checked this bike out um, as far as the specs? I know, but I mean, this is the newer version, right? I mean, look at the gold chain. Dude, that is sick. So we've got the Axe derailleur. Of course, we, we've owned two of them. Uh, we've got a, is a nine speed? Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Six. It's an eight speed. And of course that is a free hub, not a free wheel. 30 tooth round. How much is this bike? It's such a good looking Axum, dude. It's supposed to be 400. Yeah, eight speed. It's supposed to be 400. Okay, 348. Oh, no, that's for the boundary. Do, will they have a boundary here? It's an Axum here? tag there somewhere. It's an Axum tag? Okay, $448. Okay, so $50 of a price. $50 overpriced. $50 overpriced. Okay, dude, look at that. So they do have a boundary. It looks the like the boundary. Okay, yeah, the female. The women's aluminum comp. Um, they got the boundary. It looks like it's been there a minute. Look at that tire. Yeah. Uh-huh. Flat boundary. Dude, what, is this? what we got? What is that? What is that? Whoa, check out the tire. Oh, we don't want to talk about multi-use, do we? Dude, check out the... No. <laughs> Look at this tire. That's pretty sweet. I like yeah, that so wheel set. The, there. Oh, thank you. Okay, this is a multi-use, uh, great for everyday riding, uh, commuter bike. This oh, wow. is uh, 27.5. What is this, Dad? It's a Schwinn what? Uh, it's a Schwinn Junction. Junction. That's a cool... That's a cool looking bike. Whoever mentioned that, that's a neat looking bike. What we got so is here? This, is, there, is this the new? Is this the revised? It's a vibe, isn't it? Is it? It's not the revised version, no. Um, same version or revised? no. I think that's. I think yeah, that's a revised. No. It's a, well, the reason I'm saying is because on the old vibe, this right here was two different colors. I think it's the same thing. This is the Ozark Trail Vibe Medium. I think it's the same vibe. You think so? Yeah. It looks it looks a little different. Oh, oh, sorry, man. Sorry. Down here. Yeah, of course we got the famous Loom Comp, which is two ninety eight, right? Much. And this is a this is a classic bike here at Walmart for sure. The aluminum comp, it man. Used to be the the hard one to find. But, uh huh. And of course the women's aluminum comp, yeah, which, which I all I know you guys are getting tired of it, but I always mention this bike. We've actually had a couple of women with the uh, viewers rides that send in pictures of this one that they've been working on. Um, such a cool bike, tapered head tube. I think it's a good platform. Maybe your wife wants to get out and ride, and you want to help her out. Uh, maybe a good Christmas gift. But these bikes aren't off anything for um, Black Friday. Apparently. Yeah. We'll have to see if they've got and some the more. Five three to five eleven. Yeah, that's, that's a hell of a spread. Five three to. Yeah, but this is they, they're supposed to. Says well, this is. I wonder if the axums are on sale, man. Look, one axum, two axum, three axum. They've got three axums. Oh, check this out. We've got one of these. What's the axum coil? Axums. Uh, well, before we talk about what bike we've got, check out this Huffy. Five six to six two, dude. That's a cool looking cruiser. Rigid frame. Five six. To six two. Yeah, that is cool looking. No, that's a that's a really cool looking bike. Perfect fit frame. Perfect fit How frame. Can be perfect fit from five six to six two. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. But that is cool looking. Dude, that's a really cool looking bike. Oh, it's got rim brakes. Yeah. Rim brakes on that guy. Uh, of course, we got the crazy overpriced Rock Rider. Those bikes uh 
came out real hot there that one looks like it's been returned those bikes came out full freaking hot rim brakes and all but the, because they were sized they thought they could ask thousands of i mean hundreds of dollars yeah pandemic um, now oh buddy we got the backwards mounted uh backwards mounted stuff going up here oh and it's on a damn sidewinder i know what is it with the dude sidewinders sidewinder. and mounted backwards stuff you guys seen our episode on it same with that i'm surprised the bars are right side away <laughs> All right, now look, we've got this bike. Uh, we have this bike. This is a Hyper um, Explorer, uh, full squish. I thought it was really cool because it comes with a one by. It's a free wheel, but it has a, um, a chain guide here, and this one's jacked up. But I thought that was a really cool thing when we got this bike. You know, this one might be one that we have to take bring back. Ooh, what's your hit? Good thing I got a hat on. Uh, this might be one that we have to bring back into uh, start working on it. Yeah. So we've got that uh a bunch of vibes i was really hoping there's gonna be an r door here but dude there's four or five, there's three axioms like that's sweet man um yeah i mean it's it's, it's okay though I don't, you don't have to mention it yeah um well you can you can not mention it uh i don't know why you would it's ridiculous you mentioned that you want to go ahead and stop telling me what to mention now yeah you want to want to stop telling me Get off me. All right, so the good news, I don't think this was a flop. This is a heck of a Walmart with some selection. This, I, this, I'm, I'm gonna go so far as to say this might be the best Walmart yet. You think so? I mean, we I, look, look. There's some stuff on the other side too. Well, there's some kid bikes over there. I, I, no, there's a couple adult. Okay, there's a couple adult there. bikes. I but, might be agree in agreement with you. We've got vibes. We've got Ozark trails. We've got hypers. Spots, we've got boundaries. Yeah, we've got aluminum pumps, and we've got an Axum. Uh, Axums. Uh, the men's and women's on the car. Yeah, so the Lucky Shirt's pulling through on the bike search, guys. I don't want to say I was surprised because I knew there was going to be a quite of a selection here. I don't know here. where you got your knowledge. But I'm excited it's, about that. That's, yeah. I mean, three Axums. And this is the uh, Walmart in Hattiesburg. If you guys are after an Axum, now they're a little expensive. Uh, I don't know, maybe $50. They're a little $50 cheaper. I mean, that's a, uh, that's All right, a we've ridge. got a, a Ridge. Uh -huh. Ridge is a good one. Yep, we got another Ridge up there, which is a really good bike. You know, it's got some good stuff to it. Um, yeah, a uh, size frame, but that's pretty much it. But all right, guys, well, uh, Wolfstick Nation, man, just thought we had to hurry up and get another episode out, especially a bike search. Well, I know everybody you know, likes the those holidays episodes. have been kind of busy. Yeah, so. holidays have been definitely busy. Of course, we had old Aunt Eva and Grandma on the back of the truck Aunt traveling Chris with us. Aunt Chris, a bunch of different people. But uh, Joel's man, waiting for us right now. Yeah, appreciate you guys watching. As always, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check out the uh, some affiliate links in the description below. And, uh, man, I think we're going to get out of here. Make sure you guys have a happy holiday. Not a lot for um, as far as bikes go with pricing other than GT with yeah, the Black Friday. The not a lot again. Well, I'm going there's to the, the Black prices. Friday. Well, there's nothing wrong. I don't know if that's a Black Friday price or not. It was. You just let us know if it's Black Friday price. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Yeah. We, we couldn't We're leave. We're having a discussion. Having a discussion. Wolfman could not <clears throat> leave without ans asking you guys this question. Axum, right? Okay. With the DP Axum, $500. It, no. no. 348 no, no. It's 450 $450. So, $450. So the Axum non-DP at 450 versus the GT Risa Pro at 300 What but the, would you guys select? What, what would you do? Because while, yes, you get a one by, but it's a one by, you're going to eventually replace the hot and ball, hollow bottom bracket. You get a little, slightly better geometry. You got 29 versus 27.5. The reliability frame-wise is not even the same ball. One by, we can fit a 2.6 on this thing, knowing and maybe up to a 2.8. I'm could on two, Team Axum all day. You fit 2.6 on the GT as well. I'm Team Axum. I, I don't know. At three, at 300 bucks for the GT, that's a, that's a tough one. I yeah. don't know. Well, we, could have, we could have this conversation later. Anyway, no, we're going to have it now. Um, let us know in the comments, guys. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Yeah.